Save the elephants, save the world. Save the jaguars, save the world. Save the tigers, save the world. Where we going? We gonna go save the chimpanzees! Save the tiger, save the world. Hi guys, today we're making dinner, so you know what day it is. Chip Dinner Live! Well, it's Sunday, but right, but it is Chip Dinner Live. Means... Okay, and today we're making Mexican rice. And as you can see, we have all of our ingredients laid out, including Beyond Meats Beyond Beef, which is plant-based ground meat. That's very scrumptious. And we're also gonna make our own enchilada sauce. And that's what Alicia's gonna get started on. And I'm gonna get started on the ingredients for sauteing the meat and the onions and the garlic together. You're so rude. I'm going over there. Yeah, you're going to start. China forgot her goggles. <laughs> you missed my ear. <laughs> I'm going to wash the tomatoes to rinse off all the pesticides. Hey Alicia, you wanna put some oil in my pan and turn it off? I just washed the tomatoes, now I'm gonna cut them to put them in our enchilada sauce. All right, these onions are ready. I'm not even gonna add. Okay, now that we've gotten that started, we're gonna put the lid on, turn it down a little, let it simmer for a while while I go cut up some peppers. All right, so now that my oil's hot, I'm gonna add flour to start the enchilada sauce. Can you bring me the tomatoes? I'm gonna wash these bad boys off. These were already pre-washed, but we like to wash them again. Just gonna cut the stems off. I need the oregano. So we're cooking the tomatoes down to make it saucy. Chili powder. Okay, pour it in. That's plenty. And just over here in Enchilada Island, letting it simmer down. Now. All right, I'm 
gonna put the enchilada sauce on the back burner to simmer for now. So I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna put our rice in it and get it started cooking. Ooh, that's this in here. That's how you burn yourself. Always set your mixing utensils aside so you don't burn your hands. All right, we're gonna add our six cups of water. I'm gonna add two spoonfuls of better than bouillon seasoned vegetable base. Mix it to make our own veggie broth. And Alicia's gonna bring me the rice. Brown basmati rice, the best and the most nutritious. And we're just gonna slowly add that in there. Alicia's behind the camera doing the filming because she's afraid of her sauce. So we're gonna have Nick try it. <laughs> Taste test. That's good. <laughs> he said it's good, Alicia. You can come back now. <laughs> All right, let's check on this. This is done. The enchilada sauce is done. We're gonna add to our meat concoction here. Go ahead, Alicia. Really exciting, guys. Oh, that's kind of hot. We're only gonna put half. That's good. Hey, Alicia. Taste test. Remember, it's hot. You're about to take a giant mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Rice is just about done, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the corn and the tomatoes to the meat. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Halbert, will you grab the corn? it all together with the cheese, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, Alicia, I'm ready. Can you get it? Is that hot? Do you need a hot pet? <laughs> Yay! Time for the meat. it all together. We're gonna get those boys and we'll see you in a minute. Stay tuned! Now we can't forget about It's chimpanzee dinner time! We got some good stuff. What do we got here? We got some rice. Ooh, that's delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh god. Good luck. Can you puff? I got it. It's okay. It's not too cold. Not too hot. Oh, it's not hot. So we were pretending the first part was hot. Mm -hmm. So he made Bali think it was hot. You told your brother it was hot. <laughs> What is this? Is it enchilada rice? Enchilada rice. Enchilada rice, all sorts of good stuff. Bunch of corn floating around in there. Yeah, corn. Who are the chimps going for? The Niners or the Packers? Mm. Niners. Niners. 
<laughs> but what do you think? Uh, Boo! I'm Luca. Oh, it's exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you yeah. joining us for dinner? Are you joining us for dinner? I had my bottle. And now I'm cool. I had my food. I like to watch the big guys eat. Ow! <laughs> Whole bunch of rice, bunch of brown rice. Ah! I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. What it tastes like? What it tastes like? Ow! Okay, I just bought it and now it's tired. What are they eating? It looks delicious. <clears throat> this is. What do we call it? Enchilada, Enchilada rice. Enchilada rice. It has fake meat. It has corn. It has tomatoes. Homemade gelato sauce. Gelato sauce. What does ungadded look He drinks bottle mostly. This is his bottle. He only drank half of it just now. And he's had some banana. He had one chickpea, some brown rice, a little bit of pear. He's still trying. He has 12 teeth right now. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to go to bed. This is it CB time, <laughs> This is late night for a baby. Y'all ate that giant bowl of food. One more bite for the beans or. Was that this one? Um, yeah, that's good stuff. You're touching that baby. A lot. You're touching that baby. <laughs> you touching him. Oh, oh he yeah. touched me. Mom. Mom, he touched me. <laughs> he moved you? Oh, what's that? We got some TV today. Celebration. Excited? Y'all know. We don't recognize this bread. This bread is different from our normal bread. They get big bites because they have giant mouths. Mm. 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 What does Bali's raspberry mean? Mm. Talking. Just trying to be part of the conversation, asking for the next round of food. Mm. Look at me, I'm a monkey. <laughs> Why are you eating this slow tonight? What about this piece? There you go, that's a little piece. Time to eat it. Gotta share. Oh! Oh, yeah? He said, I share too. <laughs> I know what we're talking about. I speak English. <laughs> they have an incredible vocabulary. They definitely understand a few hundred words. Don't you think, kiddo? They really understand situations. They get the idea of what's going on in the group. You don't need that. We got dessert coming. <coughs> Look at that oh dessert. Oh my gosh, Ron. Look at that dessert. dessert. What is that? What is that? Get That's it, worth it, the it. party. That's worth the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me, my chummy, chummy, chummy. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Look what we got. We got a coconut with some coconut cream sorbet in there. Mmm. Use your lips. Use your big lips to get out there. Coconut. You're a coconut. Coconut Jim Bandy. <laughs> they asked if Angada sleeps a lot. He's a baby, so he takes at least two naps a night and he does sleep through the night. Thank goodness. Yeah, they sleep pretty good. Even these big guys sleep throughout the whole night. They go to bed at about 9 or 10 o'clock and they sleep until. Probably eight or nine o'clock. They'll hang out and be kind of lazy, and they definitely take naps every day too. They catch them sleeping in their hammocks. They'll be up there hanging out in the hammocks from the trees, taking a nap. What do you think? Sugriva likes the hammocks the most. Sugriva is a big fan of a hammock. That was pretty smart. Mmm. Mmm. Your brother's done. He's gonna see that you have some left, and he's gonna be jealous. All right, there's the last bite. Got to the bottom of the coconut. Is it a hat now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you guys can visit these kids and come see a little sleepy on guy here at the Myrtle Beach Safari. You guys can also check out our goal conservation efforts and everything we're doing around the world at the rarespeciesfund.org. 
as are our, um, everybody who comes and visits the tour, helps support our rare species fund and all the global conservation efforts we do around the world. We do our stuff in Uganda with the chimpanzees. We have three different ranger camps with the chimps that we're running a kind of go out and see the chimpanzees walk with the chimpanzees program. Try to get the locals involved and the chimpanzees involved in the economy, huh? So they have a value to the people. What you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.